Welcome to the next part of my Chateau de la Loire vlog, a series of vlogs that I want to show you some of the beautiful, beautiful castles that are here in central France. In fact, there are over 6,000 castles in France overall, and certainly in the area that I live in, there's quite a number of them. There's 144 to be precise. From what I've seen, that's the ones that are registered certainly as historic monuments. Maybe there's more, I don't know, but I'll go with that 144. Where am I now? I'm at a place called the Chateau de Boussy. It's not actually a castle that had popped up on my radar. I might have looked at it and thought I couldn't get to it, but actually just driving around, having a look, doing a bit of a recce, I noticed that although what's behind me is the castle, or, should, or I should say what's behind the camera is the castle, you can walk around the grounds from nine o'clock until five o'clock in the evening. So I thought, you know what? Why not? come here, have a look around, see what you can do with it. It looks beautiful. And just walking down to the castle, you just walk down this grand estate, it's just superb. It's so, so beautiful. And yes, it's kind of a bit picture postcard. It looks very Disney. So what? Honestly, so what? How can you not come here? How can you not look at what's behind the camera and just go, oh yeah, I'm not going to take a picture. You just have to. It's stunning it is stunning it's a 14th century castle from the information board that's at the entrance of the castle it said it's been in the same family for all of those years and there is the chateau de Bousse, beautiful beautiful castle here in the loire valley in andre loire it's actually on the edge of andre loire and we're getting near to the department of creuse from what i've seen on the map beautiful beautiful area not very touristic at all very very rural area but the fact that you can come in here between nine o'clock and five o'clock and capture this beautiful castle is just something else now as i've mentioned before and as you're starting to see with the castles in the loire valley when you get the lights on those castles and that very whitish pale looking stone there it can be quite tough to photograph you are go going to have to take a good couple of exposures in order to capture the contrast of this thing but there you go the Chateau de Bousse what else can you do well, you can walk around it by the looks of it and then also just from where you walk in to capture the castle I'm going to take a long lens shot looking directly towards the castle the sun is it's about 11 o'clock in the morning it's shining right onto there but we're in winter time and so therefore it's looking quite nice low light yes it's picture postcard so what is beautiful 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 castle let's move on to another castle i've got three more to do today to show you i've arrived at the next stop on my journey showing you all of the well not all of the but showing you lots of different castles here in the Loire Valley or certainly let's say rivers that connect into the Loire here I'm in a place called Betz le Chateau and there by the side of the camera is the Chateau de Betz le Chateau a 15th century castle it's private property although here I'm stood on public property it's just on the road beautiful old castle and I think the gate that's here the the explanation is that there's a 17th century gate that's just there. I think that's what it is. That's what we're looking at there. Beautiful. I did, when I first arrived, I looked at this and thought, what can I do with it? It's a bit of an awkward shot and I can't really go up to it because that's somebody's driveway or it looks as though it probably is. Not a good idea to walk up there. What can I do with it? And I thought, I know, I'll show you. There is the castle, Chateau de Betz le Chateau. So as far as I'm aware as well, when I was reading, I believe it's this castle, it's actually built on lots of different tunnels. And I'm looking at, there's an information board, or I think it's an information board, which is actually on the wall to a camera left. And, uh, and it says there's a, basically some restoration of the castle and underground. So yeah, I think this is the castle I was reading about, whereby underneath the castle, there's lots of different tunnels and stuff. Now, what have I done with it? And I'm not going to show you the back of the camera, but basically I'm just going to explain from here what it is that I've done. So I've got my 24mm tilt shift on, the 1.4 extender, and then where this 
gate is here this arch i should think this is the 17th century arch here i've used this as a frame now i've come here and starting the vlog on this one because of the time of day so for example at the moment what i did is i thought right okay it's going to be the afternoon when i'm going to get here and therefore the afternoon light will be perfectly illuminating this side of the castle and so this gate has been used as a frame i've included no sky above the gate only the sky that's there behind the gate I've got a polarizer on it's looking really nice and you can see there it says propriété privé private property so there you go natural frame that's there or man-made frame perfect to do this the camera has been pulled down so that you can actually then go down and when you bend down then you start to see the top of the castle what you don't want to do is get the top of the castle in going into the top of the gate there so that's what i've done I've put the tripod down, I'm looking through, tilt shift on, up it goes, everything bolts up right, looking nice. It's really nice, it's really beautiful. Let's go to another one, actually maybe another one that wasn't on the list. Uh, I don't actually have the information on me about that castle but I might do it depending if I can get into it. But otherwise there's another castle after here and then another one at the end of the day. I've come to a place called La Selgeno and um, it's not somewhere I was going to come to. It's actually on my list of places that I wanted to come to. And um, I didn't think about coming here today for the very simple reason that although it was near what it was that I wanted to do, because of how you've got to get the photograph, I didn't think it was really maybe a high priority. It's private chateau and so therefore there's a gate here which you can put your camera lens through and take a picture of and I imagine they probably must be used to people taking pictures just because of, of where it is and um, I just looked at it and thought well you know why not just down that way there is a beautiful beautiful looks like Romanesque church with a, a spire that's leaning over to the side but um, yeah this place here I think it was 14th century from what the information board said and built on top of another shadow it's not what I wanted to do today but I've got two more castles to show you. Behind the camera is Chateau du Chatelier, a beautiful old 12th century feudal castle with its castle, a moat and also a dungeon. Now what I'm trying to do with each of the castles that I'm showing you is actually come to them when I would normally think about coming to them either in the morning or with this one for example in the afternoon what I'd worked out from the photographer's ephemeris is that this where I am now is the sun is there as you can see on the side of my face bringing really beautiful side lighting across the castle what I'm also going to do is actually I think I can fly my drone here I'm going to check my drone map and see if it's okay see if there's no restrictions but I should be able to fly my drone from the car, which is parked just back there. And then where this tree line is, I'll leave it there. But and then show you an aerial view of this place. Absolutely stunning. I did find another angle on this. Actually, what might be a better angle for dawn. And if the mist is there, like there was some mist this morning, I think this place at dawn could look stunning. So let me turn around the camera. Let me show you the chateau. Chatelier. And there is the Chateau de Chatelier. So you've got the main castle here. You can see there's the bridge there that's going over to actually there is a drawbridge there and then the moat and then here or this here that looks to be the old dungeon. Beautiful. As I said side light the sun is literally 90 degrees here. Polarizes up really nice as well which is excellent. And there's a bit of cloud up there as well, which gives a little bit of interest in the sky after all the blue sky I've had for most of the day. Not a bad thing, depends what it is that you really want to do. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful castle here. And it's, it's actually quite big to be honest. I never knew this place was here until I started, as I've said many, many times before, doing research. I found this through extensive research, plotting things, looking at times of day to go, etc. And here you go. And then by chance, driving here, I happen to find a dawn shot as well, which I'm very, very tempted to come back and do at some point. But there you go. There is the Chateau 
مش شتى عليا هي Welcome to La Guerche, a village that sits on the edge of Andre Loire, that way, and then I'm not actually sure which department it is this way. It could be Vienne or it could be Creuse. Certainly the river I'm stood over, this is the river Creuse. Behind the camera is the Chateau de la Guerche. It's a beautiful castle. Now I know some people might be thinking, you're not supposed to be doing the Chateau de la Loire, the castles of the Loire. Well, yes. I suppose technically this river itself will eventually go into the Loire either. I don't know if it goes into the Vienne or the Indre or if it goes straight into the Loire. But it will at some point go into the Loire. Certainly when you look at the castle itself, it looks like a Loire Valley castle. It's beautiful. I'll show you what it is that I've done. And certainly if you're thinking, well, there's no light. Certainly the light's gone, hasn't it? Did you not get anything? Well, of course I got something. I'll always get the light before I do the vlog just because that's what I do. I'm going to make sure that I get a really nice image. But I'll show you what it is that I've done and you can see why it is that I've come here at the end of the day and I definitely got here in the nick of time, that's for sure, because it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And there is the Chateau de la Guerche. Not hard to see why it is that I've come here. Beautiful castle. It really is a beautiful, beautiful castle. You're looking at a JPEG at the moment just because I was just trying to film a sequence and suddenly I could see the cloud building up behind and there was still a little bit of light left on the castle. And I thought, well, let's, let's just get it. Now I have actually grabbed it just uh, because of how much light there was on the castle. So it's helping a little bit. And I also did a blend as well. But this place is just beautiful. You really want to come here ideally in the afternoon and make sure you're here a good hour or so before sunset. Why? Because to the west there is a tree line, we're in a valley basically, and um, or I, I guess a small vale, and so therefore the sun is going down behind a tree line and I got it before that happens. If I just flick back on my images there, actually not like that, if I do this then you'll see a difference with the light on the castle there. And I need to make sure that actually everything is straightened up just because I know this one is, but I've actually got my tripod balanced in a, in a plant pot that's stood over the river. It's pretty much, as I said, I think I said, it's a one shot wonder though because of the angle. You cannot get to this side here on the riverbank, not as far as I can see, which is a shame because you could probably get a really nice angle uh, from that, from down there onto the castle. But there seems to be no way down there, it's all private property in people's gardens. But again, that's why you do your research and see what is and isn't possible. In any case, let's wrap up. And that's it. A little bit more of some of the castles that are here in the Loire Valley and the surrounding area. We're going just a little bit further than, than the actual Val de Loire World Heritage Site because I thought, well, you know, why not just show you a little bit more of what's here not go too far but i'm certainly going to stay in places like andre loire mene loire loire Cher, these different areas that follow the loire and the tributaries of the loire as well because there's some really nice stuff castle wise to see and other things which i'm going to do later on now there are going to be a, another four of these after this one just for the very simple reason as i think i mentioned earlier i have to go to the united kingdom for family reasons in about a week's time and so therefore I want to keep my vlog going and so I'm just going to film ahead of time and get everything that I can and then hopefully there'll be no interruption and then when I come back then you'll have something for when I come back. Until the next time thank you so much for watching thanks for being a part of the journey that I take really really appreciated I really really appreciate people commenting as well and telling me what they think because it really helps it really gives me a lot more motivation to come out and vlog to be honest if you have liked what you've seen do subscribe down there click on the notification bell up there for the next time and the next vlog which is going to be and the next four vlogs we're going to be more loire valley and surrounding area castles till the next time stay safe okay